What's up guys, Chase for AXW here. We are back with some more My Career Mode. We are on the road to SummerSlam. Let's see what Vicky Guerrero says. She said, you just don't have the kind of merciless killer instinct it takes to be a champion. As it stands, I can't approve of a title match for you. But depending on how you do in your match tonight, I might change my mind. She's telling me I'm not ruthless. Are you kidding me? I beat The Undertaker. I beat Randy Orton. I've beaten the rookies. I've beaten everyone who has stepped in front of me. And now I have to face Dolph Ziggler. She keeps telling me I have to prove myself. And I don't know how you can prove yourself on why you need to be champion more than beating The Undertaker. But head kick by Law. Spinning elbow. And that was pretty much just merciless showing right there i mean the match hasn't even really started yet and law is already unloading on ziggler ziggler not being able to do anything so far he hasn't gotten one maneuver in still hasn't gotten a shot in and law just countering finally ziggler coming out of the corner and now a big lock up and law has ziggler takes him down with the side headlock now wrenching this skull and a big punch by Law. And I really don't understand why Law is so fed up with not being champion. I it's it's it is a little bit relatable, you know. You you beat the dead man, the phenom, the undertaker, one of the greatest of all time, if not the greatest of all time, and you're still not in contention for a belt, and that's a little obnoxious. And Logan Law with these spin kicks constantly repeating them. Now a spinning back elbow, which was also insane. And look at how he just dragged Ziggler into the ring here. He is he is unloading here. Law, what a pickup, deadlift, drops Ziggler right on his head. And now he's going to hit another one. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Another one. And there's no way in hell. Oh my. He's not going to do three. Yeah, Ziggler countered. I mean, once you keep doing a maneuver a certain amount of times, eventually somebody comes up with a counter to it, just like Dolph did there. And now what? what is the show-off thinking here as he keeps rolling Logan Law, and Law can't do anything about it until Ziggler comes near him. And wait a minute, goes to the super kick reversed by Ziggler. Now Dolph finally getting momentum as of now he has more than Law, but Law hopefully trying to get back to a vertical base here as he climbs up to the top rope the crowd is pandering to his every knee oh! caught by Ziggler what a shot what a match so far big stomp to the groin oh goes for a punch reverse out back elbow strike spin back kick now Dolph's in the corner running knee and right huge running knee and Followed up by a bulldog stomping on the back of his head. And now look at Law trying to cut off the ring. Cutting off circulation to Dolph Ziggler's head there with this insane gator roll. And using the same strategy that an alligator would where you want to cut off all pressure to the neck. That way there is no circulation going on. Now right off after the gator roll, Ziggler gets right back up. Super kick, my god. What impact. From that super kick. And I don't, I don't think Law is done here. I think he wants to show Vicky Guerrero. That he can truly be vicious. As he tosses Dolph outside the ring. What force for the spin back elbow. And now Logan Law. Climb oh it looked like he was going to climb outside. And there he does. He flies. Logan Law what an impact. What huge risk taking skills. Dolph can't get up. Oh what a kick to the back. And Law looked like he hurt himself there. His kidney or something appears to be messed up. Now both men, Ziggler moves out of the way from the drop kick. Dolph Ziggler unloads with some punches. Law with a punch of his own. T-bone suplex. My God. Logan. Logan getting inside the ring now. It's at a count of seven. What in the hell? Why are you going up to the top rope? Your career is on the line. Why are you doing it? He's putting on a good show for Vicky Guerrero. And he wins by count out. I'm not sure that's the way Vicky would have wanted it to happen. But Logan Law, your winner regardless. And Law looks like he's a little bit hurt here. 
But he did win the match. He won. So that's, that's showing something there. He does look like he's hurt a little bit. But he still is victorious. And you can see how happy he is right here. The referee even clapping for him. I give him respect to that. Logan Law appears to be climbing up to the top rope. The referee is really trying to put Law over here. I, I'm really shocked at how the referee's putting him over. Logan Law very, very happy, very excited to have won that matchup. A little bit more excited than you'd feel after just a count-out victory. But that shows that he knocked out Dolph Ziggler to the point where he could not stand anymore so we're gonna see what vicky Guerrero has to say congratulations on the win i see you got talent after all but one good match isn't gonna shot uh okay vicky so she's gonna watch my performance from next week as well so we're gonna have to see I need this number one contendership, though. I really do. I feel like I've been cheated out of the championship a long time. Uh, I've thought that I was going to get the championship multiple weeks. No matches for this week. Of course not. Chances have to be earned. They're not just giving out to people without with no talent. So, Vicky. Vicky heavily called, throwing me under the bus here. So, they're putting me against one of the most talented stars in Adrian Neville. And we're going to have to see how this match plays out. But... It it just appears, if you think about it, this entire year, what has happened to me. I thought I was winning the championship. I fought for a spot, for a spot, for a number one contendership that didn't really exist. Because I fought originally against three men, and if I prove that gauntlet, then I move on to a fatal four-way. I won the fatal four-way, which moved me on to Randy Orton, who I thought was the champion, and who I thought was going to get me a championship match. And then everything just went downhill from there. Okay, Neville already beating me up. Oh, no, what a stomp from the very top uh, inside the ring. Now reversed by Law. Law's got to be aggressive here. He's got to, he's got to, you got to have to bring down Adrian Neville like he's doing right now with that huge elbow strike. And another one, nope, reversed. Whoa! Neville, the only person probably in this entire roster that can fight kick for kick with Logan Law. However, Law is a former UFC fighter and a former three-time black belt and now law stomps on the head viciously oh man that those are some terrible strikes oh head kick logan law saying that no i'm not going to be predictable here however neville reverses again and neville is just a reversing machine here law kicks law with a big drop kick that one was very nice i did appreciate all the force all the impact on that one another drop kick I think he's shutting Neville up. Neville and all of Law's naysayers are being shut up right here. Neville into the corner. Oh, what's this? A knee strike. And Law's going to go to the top rope. I honestly wasn't expecting that. Oh, what a leg drop. That was impressive. You rarely see Law go off the top to a ground opponent. He usually does the normal kick or the front flip from the top rope. But that's when they're standing. Oh, big shot. Big kick. Roll up here. Pinfall. One. Two. And a kick out by Neville. Neville's, uh, Neville's a little bit more hurt than I would expect here, actually. I was not. I didn't think he was this damaged already. But look at that. Spin slam. And now Law's got all control everywhere he wants it. And now he's going to spin him around, actually. And and wait a minute. He just threw Neville like he was nothing. You know, Law rarely gets to be the power guy. But tonight, it appears he is. As he's just absolutely killing Neville. Now into the ropes. Tosses him like he's a rag doll into the knee strike. And another knee strike. And now just, you see how he grabs the back of the neck like no respect whatsoever to Neville. And I think Adrian Neville's time here in the law zone is over. And, uh, no, Neville, you wouldn't expect it, but he's coming back uh, only to be shut down. Oh, 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 what vicious kicks. Neville tossed. Law tosses Neville back into the corner. Double knee strike. He's knocked out. He's knocked out. You don't get up from that. Neville being demolished.
Oh, it's over. End game. Boom. Oh my. Neville's done. Neville's out of it, folks. I've never seen a bar so low. Two, three. Logan Law impressive. Not much damage was done to Law. Not much at all, actually. But Logan Law won the matchup. Now, just no normal celebration here. No added benefits. But uh, we're going to have to see what happens with the future of Logan Law. And Logan Law is the future of the WWE. So we're going to have to see what my career mode brings to me. Like this video. Leave a comment and subscribe for more. Also, oh, the SummerSlam fun. Details in the description below. And you can see that I, from my Comic-Con video that I did meet Sting, Ziggler, Roman Reigns, and Randy Orton. So if you guys donate $25 or more, you will earn those autographs. And I'll be sending those to you. If you donate $25 or more, all the details below in the description. See ya.